Hey Gauchos, it's your old buddy Marv uh, with another Gaucho cast, and this time I've got some news for you from the world of shopping. Now, if you were paying attention to the news this week, you might have caught this. It was kind of a minor news story underneath the surface, and it had a little bit to do with a company called Weatherproof that makes these nice jackets, uh, and that they put up an ad featuring the president in Times Square, and uh, I got this story from the New York Times. Uh, the Weatherproof Garment Company put a billboard up in Times Square directly above the Red Lobster, which... You know, there's probably not a classier place in, in New York you could put it. Uh, and it had a, an AP picture from the president's visit to China. He was on the Great Wall, and the manager, the guy who runs uh, Weatherproof, said, oh, hey, that's one of our jackets, made a big ad out of it, uh, and put it up on a billboard, uh, to which the White House said, um, we didn't actually approve of that, and uh, it's kind of weird that you just bought this image from the AP and are using it in this ad. And there was a little back and forth, and eventually, um, I guess Weatherproof is taking the ad down. Uh, they took it off their website. The thing is, though, this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, this really isn't a strange occurrence. It's not that unique. Uh, in fact, it wasn't that long ago that uh, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals ran an ad featuring Michelle Obama, Oprah, and two other ladies who I should probably know who they are, but I don't. Um, praising them for not wearing fur. And of course, you can tell by that great Photoshop job that they had nothing to do with this ad and were just used. Uh, and the thing is, this has been going on for a long time. And frankly, I don't see anything wrong with it. World leaders all over the globe uh, will endorse products and they don't even really think twice about it. In fact, uh, wasn't that long ago that North Korean leader uh, Kim Jong-il chairman of North Korea, was spotted wearing this thong and uh, wasn't long before he was basically a walking endorsement for uh, a, a North Korean thong company and that's how he got his nickname Kim Thong Il, actually. Uh, same thing with Bangladeshi President Zilla Rahman. Uh, he, you know, obviously a fan of, of noodles and so naturally lent his name to Ramen Noodles. There is a spelling differential there, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Bolivian President uh, Evo Morales, you know, uh, it just seems natural with a name like Evo. Eventually he was going to get, you know, hooked up with Rachel Ray, because who doesn't love Rachel Ray? And next thing you know, you see Evo's face on a bottle of Rachel's Evo with an extra, it's got an extra O on it there. Uh, and then, of course, Netherlands Queen Beatrix, uh, who advocated... Uh, the wearing of deep dish New York style cheesecakes on your head, as you can see here, um, and which just leads to a natural tie into the Cheesecake Factory, which I don't think they have in the Netherlands, but uh, they should think about opening them up. Uh, and finally, but after seeing this image, how could Bob's Big Boy not want to have Zimbabwe President Robert Mugabe as their spokesperson? Because clearly, big fan of the Big Boy. Uh, so I guess what I mean by this is, you know, if you're photographed wearing something or doing something, it's like a tacit endorsement. So uh, go ahead and run with it. And um, that's that's all I've got for this week. But uh, feel free to put stuff up on the gaucho.com and gaucho.net message boards. Say hi. Uh, let me know if there's things you want to see in future casts. And I'll be seeing you next time here on the Gaucho Cast. <laughs>